Hi everybody watching at home. This is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today I want to touch on something I saw recently on Facebook. Once again, good source for keeping up to date with whatever bullshit is uh, circulating among and through the masses. Um, there's this picture of this guy. This is the first I saw of him. A really, really astonishingly good looking guy. Like, very pretty. And apparently this guy's a convict serving a sentence, I think, for prostitute, uh, soliciting prostitutes or pimping prostitutes. Um, some, it's something to do with exploiting females. And, you know, there's a lot of talk all over the internet about it, apparently. It's trending about how attractive this convict is, how pretty he is. And there's a lot of girls who are of the opinion that he should be given a, quote, an unquote, second chance. Um, because he's so pretty. And, you know, on the actual, you know, I, I watched a video last night after I first saw this picture saying that, you know, keep it classy, ladies. Like, it doesn't matter what this guy's done exploiting females. The females are, you know, talking more about him than they're giving praise to, you know, veterans and people that actually do heroic acts which aren't as good looking. And last night this video was pretty much a news report saying that this guy is now being offered a modeling contract. A modeling contract because he's so good looking. And the actual females, like the mass, all of them that were on the stage at the time, shared the opinion that, you know, he should be given a second chance. And the, one of the male writers was like, but you know, he, he's already had, you know, two chances. He's had four chances. He's been to jail four times. And he's still, like, you know, exploiting women and doing all this. And then the girl replied, oh, well, you know, that's not that bad. I've dated worse guys than that. And they weren't even as pretty as him. See, this is what concerns me. This is what repulses me. It's about the direction our society is going and the individuals which comprise it. To the point where we start rewarding criminals and sick people that are exploiting people and making the world a worse place to live in just because they look nice, just because they're attractive I mean, I know sex sells, I mean fair enough, you know, it's in our design nothing really triggers more of a deep response than something sexual but does that mean that all common decency and courtesy or not courtesy, but decency and morality and sensibility goes out the window to the point where we start rewarding criminals because they appeal to our senses. Excuse me, I'm just tying up my jacket right now. It's very annoying. It keeps falling down. Um, and yeah, this is what's basically disturbing me is about how maybe not just females, but in this case particularly females, prioritize um, things when it comes to, you know, deeming somebody worthy. And not just worthy of deserving a second chance and not serving for his fourth conviction and not just worthy of you know chances in general but worthy in worthy in general how does it go determine a guy's worth if someone thinks that a guy can exploit women four times directly and and be pardoned because of his looks and that's pretty serious if you ask me then she can probably be of the same mind to say well he should be pardoned of anything or less he shouldn't be judged so easily he should be let off the hook because he's good looking you know, he, meaning he's worthy of exceptional treatment. He's probably worthy of exceptional treatment in the field of dating. You know, he's probably the kind of guy that you would feel more obligated or someone that you'd want to pleasure more and serve more. Someone that you want to please and keep enticed, keep interested. You know, just because they're special and so good looking, they warrant that exceptional treatment, right? And this, that's what's fucked to me, like it doesn't really, to me in my opinion, a lot of the time, it doesn't really matter about your personality, it doesn't matter about your qualities that make you who you are, about your morality, about your code, your ethics, it just matters how you look, it matters how you fuck, and it matters what you can provide, what you have to offer, how useful you are, and that's how it is, you know, women are raised to be attractive objects, and objectify themselves to the point where they attract men who are raised to be useful. And you know, good in bed is a is a, a good thing to have going for you and being good looking. 
on top of being useful, but there's no point being good in bed and being good looking if you've got nothing else to provide because that will quickly wear thin, that will quickly lose its flair. If you want to maintain something, you need to be useful, whether that be monetarily or just aiding in different ways or both. And that's that's what's got me that's what's got me kind of really disappointed. I'm just gonna sit for a bit because my, my jumper keeps falling off and I just can't be fucked. That's what's got me a bit down in the dumps because I'm a guy that likes to believe that there is love, that a, ma- a woman will go for a man based on, you know, him being fair and decent and a good man, you know, having a good nature and admirable qualities that attract her, someone that she'd like to see instill those same qualities in the child one day. But these days, it seems that women will settle for assholes and abusive motherfuckers and animals. You know, people of a much lower mind and lower decency, levels of decency. And they will simply make that sacrifice to their children who also suffer. They will make that sacrifice in their own life because it impacts them, felt foremost. Um, just because, what, because the sex is great? What, because they're so captivatingly attractive and irresistible that you can't keep away from them? Really? I think people have their priorities wrong. Maybe it doesn't just extend to women, maybe it extends to both genders. But I think the priorities are definitely wrong in how we evaluate what is worthy, what is not, what deserves a second chance, what doesn't, you know? People would be quick to shoot on the nice guy and kick him out without a second thought, without hesitation. A lot of the time I see girls running back and crying desperately to be back in the arms of assholes who just abuse them and treat them like crap. You know, I never see that same thing happening with nice guys. Maybe they're too easy. Maybe it's the challenge they like. Maybe girls like abuse. Maybe they're suckers for punishment. Maybe they want all the you know, men who exploit women out there, even for a profession, to have as many chances as possible as to allow them to be on the street to further exploit women. Maybe they like that. Maybe they want to be exploited. Maybe it justifies some kind of mentality, some way of behaving, some way of being distracted. I don't know. It, it confounds me. But yeah, it's quite concerning, really. And I, I you know, I, I've I've been aware for a long time that a woman will sacrifice a lot in terms of inequalities and and wholesomeness just for a good shag and good looks. But the fact that, you know, they're saying that this criminal should be released, the fact that he's been given a modeling contract, like now they're glorifying this, this guy, you know, really shows you what's going wrong with the world. Especially in the domain of love. You know?